Do you have a tipping point business? This is possibly one of the most important questions you can be asking yourself as a business owner right now. A tipping point is the moment when a series of small changes creates a big change. Things cross a threshold and move to a whole new level that's completely different to the way that they were before. And it typically happens quickly, sometimes in an instant. Like the moment that water boils or when a flame ignites. If you do have a tipping point business, that's good news. All the hard work you've put in these past few years is set to pay off. But if you don't, you could be headed for a tough road ahead. Because it's the tipping point businesses that are poised for what I call breakthrough growth. This is where your results really gain momentum and your income, impact and success starts to accelerate way beyond anything you've experienced in your business so far. Until one day you realise, wow, I've created the business and life that I dreamed of. Like Christina Carlson, who created a tipping point business. She took a small business she started in her tiny apartment and turned it into a household name. Today, Kiki K stores are located throughout Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Hong Kong and the UK, but it wasn't always that way. She tells the story of how she got started with an idea that woke her up at 3 in the morning. With no experience and very few resources, she borrowed just enough money to create her first product range, while working second and third jobs just to pay the bills. And it was hard work, but there came a tipping point for her business that led to breakthrough growth. And as Christina says, it helped her see her dream was coming to life. Another tipping point business owner is Tina Tower. While she was tutoring children, she saw the need for school readiness classes. So Tina started her Begin Bright business in 2008 and converted it to a franchise business in 2011. Within one year she'd launched seven franchises and now there are 32 Begin Bright centres all around the country. There are many women in business building their businesses towards the tipping point in all kinds of industries from consulting to beauty, from food and wine to health and everything in between. Some are creating big businesses like Tina and Christina and others are breaking through from $50,000 to $100,000 or from $250,000 to $500,000. Others want to crack the million dollar mark or go from solo operator to having a team. The point is, whatever the number or whatever the goal, to create the business that you want, you need to know how to get to the tipping point. Because if you don't have a tipping point business, you may never get past the initial idea phase, stalling before you really get started. Or if you do make a start, you could find it a constant struggle and you get stuck in a rut that you can't get out of no matter how hard you work or what you try going sideways and never really reaching your goals. Or worse still, you could be headed for the chaos that leads to decline or even demise in your business. So how can you tell if you have a tipping point business and what can you do to build a tipping point business if you don't already have one? We've created the Do I Have a Tipping Point Business Handbook to help you answer those questions. And I'm giving it away free for a limited time. To get your copy, simply click the link on this page or visit tippingpointhandbook.com. In the handbook, you'll find seven ways to tell if you have a tipping point business. Plus, you'll learn practical steps that you can take to move closer to the tipping point from leading female entrepreneurs from both within the Her Business community and those we've inducted into our Business Women's Hall of Fame. This handbook is ideal for you if you've been making progress but haven't yet hit the major success that you're looking for. You sense it's close, but you know you need some help. While the growth you've had so far has been great, you're not over the threshold yet and you're feeling the squeeze of being in this in-between phase, wondering what the stepping stones are between here and where you want to go. And I know what that can feel like. I've had my own tipping point moments and I know as exciting as it is to break through on the other side, while you're going through the process, you can feel vulnerable, overwhelmed and like you could really do with a helping hand. That's why I was so keen to put together the Do I Have a Tipping Point Business Handbook for you. Get yours now by following the link on this page or visit tippingpointhandbook.com for instant access. Thank you and here's to doing what you love every day.